watching KMIR NBC Palm Springs. The desert's most glamorous night. And I love Palm Springs. I love it. Fans descending to see the world's biggest stars. Your heart's beating. You're so nervous, but you're so excited all at the same time. It's crazy. Palm Springs honoring Hollywood's best. Thank you so much. The first major award show of the year, right here in the Valley. Wonderful. I sort of feel spotlighty right here, right now. This is special coverage of the 26th annual Palm Springs International Film Festival Gala. Brought to you by Perch. Hello, Palm Springs. So nice and thrilling to be on the same red carpet as Robert Duvall and Robert Downey Jr. and Laura Dern and Eddie Redmayne. It's so fun. Hi, guys. Hello, my dear. <laughs> Oh yellow, 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 oh, oh yellow, oh. Hi, I'm Manny the Movie Guy, and this is KMIR's special coverage of the Palm Springs International Film Festival. It's the most glamorous night of the year, and we have it all for you. We've got all your red carpet highlights and amazing celebrity interviews. Plus, if you didn't get invited to the awards gala, we are your ticket inside. And it's really cool. You haven't seen this and you want to. But first, Hollywood really is about the fans and they've made this the can't miss destination event. And the stars were all too happy to sign autographs and pose for the best selfies ever. This way. We saw it on TV and we're like, we have to go. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Everyone has the same energy and is like super pumped and ready to get over some celebrities over this way to see us. <laughs> You secretly know they're completely normal people, but it's just so cool to see them come up to you and actually experience, I guess, the whole hype of everything. Robert Downey Jr. is one of my favorite actors, Iron Man. I'm a huge superhero fan, so it's going to be actually phenomenal. Just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, it brings people that would never otherwise come. And there's just film aficionados that come, and it's just very, very exciting. Everyone's looking to get autographs, have a good time. Everyone's very nice. No one's caused any trouble. It's just uh, exciting. that are coming down the red carpet tonight. David Oyelowo is right over here. He's from Selma, as we know, right? J.K. Simmons from yes. Whiplash, Laura Dern from Wild, all Woo! the big name stars that you want to see, like Reese Witherspoon, Julianne Moore. Yes, and Brad Pitt. Well, Shirley you most... McLean is Ooh. right over here Ooh, as well. Oh, Shirley McLean, maybe I'm wondering if <laughs> she's going to read my uh, pass. Well, you just never know. She probably will. I haven't been here in about, oh my gosh, like at least 10 years. So uh, this morning I kind of went out and I looked around and the city is so fantastic and the houses are fantastic and I've got to come back. JK, I have to tell you something. You were so super good in Whiplash that I hate you. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> and yet I don't hate you even though you just said that to me. Here's the best part about Whiplash though, is that, you know, it's really about the music world and everything, but it's, it's, it's like a thriller. 
I yeah, yeah. nailed by that. Yeah, yeah, or like a boxing movie or something. Everything that Damien Chazelle put on the page was was genius. Believe me, when you got 19 days to shoot a movie, there's not a lot of time to mess around. So, yeah, wow. yeah. I can't be the only person who told you you were so bad that you were so good. No, 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 I, I, and that has happened to me before in my career too. I, not, not my first guy that, uh, that people yeah, love to hate. Feel the star-powered electricity. I'm with you. I feel it too. Coming up, more excitement on the red carpet. I think Randy's making it up. And we hear from your favorite celebrities. This is my passion project of my life, so I'm so excited. Oh, how are you? Plus, your ticket inside the gala. You won't see this anywhere else. Come on, people. Including singing celebrities. You know you have broken through when Brad Pitt sings your name. Julie, Julie and more. <laughs> KMIR's special coverage of the 2015 Palm Springs International Film Festival is coming right back. What inspires a man to perform such tender acts of love and devotion? That'll do it. is made possible by Perch. Discover your next moment of joy with DXV from American Standard. Welcome back. Now here's more exciting action from the red carpet. What made you want to do Birdman? Just, just to explore a little bit that boys that you and you and I have, you know, that boys that get us crazy a little bit, telling us things uh, about how stupid or how good we are. And everything is a lie, and I think, you know, I want to explore my own relation with this, with this guy that is here. It's uh, an honor to be recognized uh, in a film with uh, my friend Michael Keaton, you know. For me, that's, that's the price already, to have made a film with him together and have fun and enjoying this ride, it's already the award. Because I'm a fan and I have been for a long time and, and then the challenge of how he wanted to make it was really intriguing to me. But you know, you want to work with artists and this guy's an artist. I'm shocked how little I knew about Alan Turns. I mean, it's like, this is one of the most important men of the last century. One of the big geniuses for the last century. And he's sort of like been pushed into the shadow of history just because he's a gay man. We feel very strongly about this movie about the subject matter, about this incredible man, and to receive an award as an ensemble for something that we all felt to, as a collective so strongly about is, is very, very humbling, it really is. When I first read the script, the, well, obviously what happens to him is deeply uh, distressing, but also beyond that I felt a deep anger, not just at the injustice of that, but the injustice of this man suffering being almost anonymous in comparison to the scale of it, and like I said before, the achievements of his life that we celebrate in the film. So. Uh, yeah, it, it means a huge deal that this is going to get him to a broader audience. Massive deal. It's a huge honor the Palm Springs International Film Festival has paid us by not only, you know, uh, awarding me this award, but uh, letting us open the, the film festival. And it's not lost on us at all. You know, this film was made uh, with a lot of hard work and a lot of love and just as an act of service and they really received it as, as that last night and uh, you know me, me getting this award is indicative of the fact that I, I guess I got something right so I'm, I'm very happy. How much 
much did it take for you to get into that role and do it the way you did it? How much did it take? That's a, a very um, good question. It, it took it took four months of, of research, I would say. Um, both Felicity and I, Felicity who plays Jane, we went to a, a neurology clinic in London and met people suffering from the disease. But then meeting Stephen and Jane, I mean, these people are just so... That they're such um, so funny and inspiring people that actually, once we had met them, it kind of... They allowed us into their, their lives, and it kind of gave us a freedom, which was wonderful. Yeah. You're not part of the film, like. Oh, well, thank you. Her mother was uh, an incredible, incredible woman, so I felt privileged to play her. It's one thing to work with an actor you admire and become dear friends with someone you love, but uh, she's also my producer. The fact that she bought the rights and, and made sure the film was made the truest way for Cheryl is something to celebrate. It's such an honor, and it was such a gift that Cheryl Strayed gave me her the opportunity to bring her story to the screen. So um, it's been a great year with Gone Girl and Wild. It's been, it's been really exciting. Coming up. Uh, did you see my, my Mercedes parked out front? Did y'all get a look at that? That's what you call preferred parking. We're going inside the gala. Thank you for your recognition that I'm still alive and walking. KMIR's special coverage of the 26th annual Palm Springs International Film Festival is coming right back. What inspires a man to perform such tender acts of love and devotion? That'll do it. Welcome back to KMIR's special coverage of the 26th Annual Palm Springs International Film Festival. Brought to you by Perch. Now we'll take you inside the gala where the stars get what they came here for. The awards. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As chairman of the uh, Palm Springs International Film Society, it is my sincere pleasure to welcome you to the 26th Annual Film Festival Awards Gala, an evening dedicated to consummate achievement in the art of cinema and to film as the language. Last year, we are proud to say that 10 of our 11 awards gala honorees were nominated for Academy Awards. Hello, Palm Springs. Tonight, we celebrate an actor brave enough to step into the shoes of Martin Luther King. It's a masterclass performance that transcends uh, imitation and captures the, the soul and the spirit of Dr. King. And I know that there is one lingering question in the back of your minds. Uh, it's a fundamental question. I think it's only fair that we air it out tonight. And that question is, how the hell do you pronounce his name? <laughs> so if you will say with me now, David Oyelowo. <laughs> it's worse than I thought. Uh, in situations like this, I found it sometimes helps to sing it. So, if you will sing it with me now, repeat after me, okay? <clears throat> oh, yell. 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 Oh, Oh, yellow, oh.
Come on, people. Thank you. You know you have broken through when Brad Pitt sings your name. Wow, that was incredible. If one pauses to consider the diversity of characters he's portrayed in The Godfather, MASH, Network, Apocalypse Now, Tender Mercies, Lonesome Dove, The Apostle, Get Low, and recently The Judge, it becomes clear that Robert Duvall is like us, but he's different. He has always gone his own way. He's never hit a false beat. He has an unmatched ability to transcend performance, to listen, learn, and make us feel things. On the way in tonight, everybody was congratulating me on being an icon and so forth and so on, right down the line. And I got towards the end, and some uh, young woman said, why are you an icon? I, I said, I don't know, ask Downey. Everybody says that the, uh, the golden uh, age of the 70s is no longer. They're wrong because the, the big films have moved in and the uh, independent films now embrace these wonderful small films. And Get Low was one of them. And it was very important to me because if I hadn't have done that, I would have never gotten the judge. The only thing I knew about theater or drama was Cowboys and Indians. You know, we were this big, you know, we were our own horse, bum, 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 you pulled out the weapon, <laughs> we'd shoot each other, and you know, that's all I knew. And when I grew up, I said, I want to be an Indian. And I was shocked and stunned when I found I couldn't be an Indian. You had to be born an Indian. So, okay, I said, that's okay. When I grow up, I'll be a cowboy. The smartest things I ever did in my life, I had the choice of one or two parts. I didn't want this part, you could take this part. So I said, I will not take that part. I want the part of Augustus McRae in Lonesome Dove. And I'm glad I can be a part of this uh, industry because uh, it's a great way to make a living. And uh, <laughs> thank you very much. I have been blessed with many wonderful fake wives and girlfriends over the years. Catherine Keener, Amy Ryan, Juliette Binoche, Anne Hathaway, Kira Knightley, Ryan Gosling, and of course, Julianne Moore. And uh, yeah, that's okay. While I don't want to alienate any of my fake exes that I may be giving an award to in the future, I do have to say that there is no one more wonderful than Julianne Moore. Incidentally, it is pronounced Julie, Julianne Moore. I think that Julianne spends most of her days just being generous and gracious and kind. There's no mistaking that she's a good person. In fact, she's probably one of the most genuinely good people that I've ever met. And I have met both Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep. And she makes them look like assholes. really made me think about things that I care about and things that I that I love like you know um, I love my best friend Steve Carell my favorite fake husband and I love like crazy orange dresses and <laughs> I love all the amazing Palm Springs architecture I saw this morning um, you know, and, I, and it, was a, it was an extraordinary gift making this movie because it really made me think about those things and all the people that I, that I care about. We made still Alice, not in the spirit of, of loss or, dis, or diminishment, but in the spirit of, of really thinking about who and what we value and why we value it and really attempting to, to cherish it. Thank you for your recognition that I'm still alive and walking. I want to talk a little about the 
um, very intimate and specific relationship between a director and an actor. Richard Linkletter. I don't know if his approach is wily or it is actually true. We shot for about five or six weeks. Every time I asked him a question, it was, I don't know. Every time anyone else asked him a question. But you see, there was a very intimate kind of understanding that had this answer always preceded by this, um, I don't know. So finally, I asked Jack Black, because you know, Richard has this incredible family. He has lots of kids and everything. I said, Jack, um, do you think that when Richard was up in front of, when, when he was up in front of the judge and the judge said, do you, do you take this woman for your lawful wedded <laughs> wife? Do, do you think? He said, I don't know. Thank you for being here, Shirley. And for the record, um, when I say I don't know, it's always listen very carefully to what I say right after that. I don't know. And then what I say next is really what I want. I've been so fortunate in my life all these years to get to make so, uh, so many movies, tell so many stories that I really, really cared about. And uh, none so much as the film that's out this year, Boyhood. Um, you know, I thought I was telling a film about my own childhood. You know, I was telling a story about growing up, my own memories and experience. But somewhere along the way, I kind of realized, oh, I'm also telling a film really about my parents. This is a portrait of my own parents. And it was a wonderful film over all these years to feel your way through and kind of let it speak to us. We shot the film over 4,200 days. And other films I've done, I've done in, you know, 19 days, 6 days, 25 days. But that's what was required, you know, for this film. And it was just this incredible experience. And over 400 people over the years worked on it. And it was a group vision. And how great it feels to talk about Alejandro Iñárritu. There are some adjectives like uh, and courageous, poetic, uh, funny, daring, bold, uh, funny, uh, profane, unapologetically uh, original. And original is the one that really stands out for me. Because to be in the world of someone who is truly original just is uh, awe-inspiring. Thank you, Michael. The best thing is has he has become my friend. He's a little cuckoo, and he's funny, and he's great. To get wrong with him is the best. <laughs> with my bad Spanish and his cuckooness is the, the, the funny, funny table. I've been chosen to speak, which is uh, alarming, because this is an ensemble award, and all of us should be speaking. Alan Turing was a war hero. He was a gay icon. And he was and is the father of modern computing science. He's a man who died tragically early due to a government that he helped free from fascism by his work in the Second World War in cracking the Enigma Code, rewarding him for his nature, for quietly confessing to who he was as a gay man in a time of intolerance in the 50s. Any attention this film is getting, we dedicate to Alan. Um, it's something that brought us all to this story, this unique, extraordinary, passionate, diffident, single-minded, and incredibly beautiful soul of a human being. The film became more than just a woman's film about a girl hiking. It became a human story of redemption and sacrifice and learning what true north is in this world. It was a wild and beautiful journey. Um, probably definitely the most important journey of my career so far and one I will not soon forget. And finally, I just want to say thank you to Cheryl Strayed for teaching me that every life is precious, irrevocable, and sacred, and that everybody's story deserves to be told, and how wild that is just to let it be. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.
What inspires a man to perform such tender acts of love and devotion? That'll do it. Tonight, the first of the final four parenthoods. We're still trying to pinpoint what happened. If I could turn back time. Where is Hold the crash cart. Parenthood returns tonight here on NBC. Matt, in any other room you would be a big deal, but tonight you're basically a garbage person. It's the party of the year, celebrating the best of TV and movies. It's the glow, Drake! The Golden Globe Awards live Sunday at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific here on NBC. Welcome back to KMIR's special coverage of the 26th Annual Palm Springs International Film Festival. Brought to you by Perch. What a show. When you're in the red carpet, it's not all glitz and glamour. Just for you, we put together some deleted scenes you really won't see anywhere else. <laughs> I love Manny, I love Manny I'm not, I'm, up. You're not completely off. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, great role. What are you looking at? <laughs> David Oyelowo. David Oyelowo. Weren't you proud of me that I got David Oyelowo's hat? I know. Come on, people. Oh, you have to be super Hi. excited. I got all three of you. You want to start ready? this time? Ready? And are you doing it again? What do you want? Julia, all right, ready? Wait, 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 she's coming back this way. She's oh, coming Julianne Moore is coming way. back. Julianne. Julianne. Yes, Julianne. The only reason she got away is because we were interviewing Eddie. Nailed it. Mr. Robert Duvall, how are you? Come on over here. Come on. Robert Duval, Julianne well, Moore. Well, I got to hold his hand. <laughs> At least I got that. <laughs> oh, Shirley! 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 What's wrong with us? They don't love us. <laughs> I don't know. You have my hand. <laughs> <laughs> you singing your praises. I wanted to fly. I'm glad that you want to fly. <laughs> Is that cute? I think I'm done now. I think I, I have to quit now. now. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for watching KMIR's special coverage of the 26th Annual Palm Springs International Film Festival. This program is made possible by Perch. Discover your next moment of joy with DXB from American Standard.